Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some more maths reasoning practice. This is reasoning practice for money, money, money. Okay, so in the reasoning paper we have to read lots of questions which cover all of the areas of maths we've learned about in year two. So this week is going to go over some questions about money. Each paper has a page with children's names on them, so you are introduced to these words using pictures like this first. So here we've got, there's always a main girl and boy, so we've got Amy and AJ here, and then we've got Sam, Ben and Sita and Kemi's name underneath, so you know that if you see these words, those are not maths words, those are children's names. And then... Every special agent task with its reasoning will start with some questions where your teacher reads them and there is no written question. So, have a look at the words in the box. Kilograms, metres, hours, centimetres, litres. Ella is 97 watt tall. Ella is 97 watt tall. Choose a measurement from the box that you think we would measure height in. Now, Think about kilograms, that weighs how heavy something is. Hours measures the time of something. And litres measures liquid, doesn't it? So we've got two choices left now. We've got metres and centimetres. Now think about when we've looked at metre rulers and centimetre rulers. Okay, I think 97 metre sticks would be absolutely massive and way too big. Don't let it trick you. I would say that Ella is 97 centimetres tall. Well done. Fantastic. It's about four, just over three and a half of your rulers in your tray. Okay. Look at the numbers here. Can you think of a number that is in between 52 and 57? Can you write it in the box? Think of a number that is in between 52 and 57. So Mrs G's picked 55. You could have also have had 53, 54 or 56 and you would have got that point. Well done guys. Now, we're going to be talking about money. There can be lots of different questions involving money on the reasoning paper. Sometimes it can just be adding coins up. It can be picking the largest coin. It can be working out change. But we're going to start and have a look, little look together and we're going to be doing lots of practice at school. So don't worry. Practice question. Desi, that's just somebody's name, has these coins. How much does he have all together? Now, all together is a maths word that means we need to add them. What I would do is start off by looking if there are any coins that are the same. Okay, so I can see two 10p's there, and I know that 10 add 10 is 20, and I've got two 10p's, and then I've noticed that I've got two 1p's, and I know that 1 add 1 is 2. So altogether, we've got 20 in the blue circle and 2 in the orange circle. So we have got 22 pence. Well done if you knew that before Mrs G explained it. Fantastic. Don't forget to pause the video throughout this today if you want to try and beat Mrs G. Okay. Now, this practice question, how many birds are there? So you've got to count the birds. Pause the video if you want to count them and I'll see if I get the same answer as you. Okay, now, very, very easy to get confused with this question because of the way the birds are laid out. Do you remember the tips from last week where you've used something in a reasoning task? Cross it out. So this is how I would do it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'd check I've not missed any birds out and I'd pop 15 in the box. Well done if you counted 15 birds before me. Fantastic. Okay. After a few of these types of questions, the questions then change to be written down. A grown-up can read most of the words to you, but not any that are in bold. Always have a go at reading everything on the page yourself too. So the words in bold are the darker words. So the word three here and the number 13. Okay, well this is special agent training. I'm going to help you as much as I can today, so don't you worry. So, number 15. Sita has these coins in her purse. How much money does she have? Now, don't panic, boys and girls. Don't panic. 
my first top tip for you is to find the coin that is worth the most first okay and then start by counting all the multiples of 10 all of the coins that end in a zero and you know are in the 10 times table so let's find the coin that is worth the most shout it out if you've spotted it so 50 is the biggest number in that purse we're going to start counting from 50 pence then we've got 20p there so we've got 50 60 70 we've got a 10p there which is one more 10 so 50 60 70 80 we've got another 10p there 50 60 70 80 90 and then we've got a 2 and a 1 2 add 1 is 3 so all together we've got 9 90 in 10 p's and multiples of 10 and 3 in 3p with the 2p and the 1p so we've got 50 60 70 80 90 92 93 pence and if you want to you could circle the coins the tens coins and the ones coins place value can really help you working out money as well well done fantastic oh the tick was super happy with you then boys and girls look at these coins what is the largest amount you can make using three of these coins the largest amount so top tip here look for the coins that are worth the most look for the coins that are worth the biggest numbers worth the most money so always we're only allowed to use three of the coins that's really important I'm going to find the coin that's worth the most 50p that is the biggest number because we've got a 1p that's worth 1 a 10p is the same as the number 10 a 50p is worth 50 a 5 a 20 and a 2 then I'm going to look for the next biggest coin and that's a 20p coin okay then I'm going to look for the coin that's, and I've got any more multiples of 10? Yes, I have a 10p. Now let's work out counting them. So start with 50 in your head. 20 is worth 2 10, so 50, 60, 70. Add the 10p, 70 add 10. The largest amount we can make is 80 pence. Well done if you got that right, fantastic. Number 15, Amy has 50 pence. She buys a pencil for 30p tick the purse that shows how much money Amy has left now this is trying to catch you out it wants you to realize that if she gives the shopkeeper 50p the, the shopkeeper will take the 30p away that the pencil costs and give her some money back so we need to know what 50 take away 30 is before we can even start adding those coins so three fingers up let's count backwards from 50 in tens 50 40 30 20 so we know that 50 take away 30 is 20. Take a good look at the coins in the purses. Can you see a coin that has 20 pence in it? It might not be a 20 pence coin. Okay, so that first purse has 5 P's. 5, 10, 15, not that one. The next one has a 20 and a 5, that's 25 P, can't be that one. The next one has two 10 P's, that's 10, 20 and a 5 P, 25. And the last one, 5 at 5 is 10 and I've got a 10 P, ah, 10 at 10 is 20. It was that purse, well spotted if you got that one, fantastic. Okay, number 25, write five coins that have a total of seven pence, five real coins, you've got to think about coins that actually exist, now what I would do, I would tackle the 7p first, and there's a very quick way to make 7p, what coins can we use, think about what you know about 7p, 7p is five and two, is there a 5p coin? Yes. Is there a 2p coin? Yes. Let's write 5 and 2 there. We've got the ones. We now need to think of a way to make 30 using three coins that are the same. 30 pence. Now there isn't a 30 pence coin. What silver coin could we use to make 30 pence? That's it. We could do 10, 20, 30. And all together we've got three tens, 10, 20, 30, and five add two is seven, so we have made 37 pence. Well done. Ella wants to buy one banana, and we can see that the banana costs 35 pence. She has 20 pence. How much more money does she need? So she's got 20p, but she needs 35p. What coin could we add to the 20p to get her to 30 pence? Let's do the tens coins first. So 20 add 10p is 30p. And then we need, we've got 30, we need 35p. Ah, we need 5p. Is there a 5p coin, boys and girls? Yes, there is. 
So we need another 10p and a 5p. What's 10 add 5? Let the 5 pop the 0. Pop goes to 0. 10 add 5? We need 15 more pence. Well done, boys and girls. Fantastic. Desi and Ella share this money equally. How much do they get each? Let's take a look at the coins we've got. We've got a 5p, a 20p, a 20p, a 10p, a 5p and a 10p. Now, in the task, if you're doing this at school, you could cross them out. This is what I would do. I'm going to imagine I give a 20p to the boy and a 20p to the girl. And I would cross them out if I was doing this on paper. I'm going to give a 10p to the boy and a 10p to the girl. I'm going to do equal shares. I've only got the 5p's to share out. I'm going to give a 5p for the boy and a 5p to the girl. Ah, okay, because there's two of each coin and there's two children. So how much does one child get? We've got 20 add 10, use your 10s. 20 add 10 is 30 and a 5p. What's 30 add 5, guys? That's it, 35 pence. Good sharing, well done, fantastic. Number 19, Amy buys an ice cream for 90 pence. Part A, tick three coins, three coins to show Amy how Amy can make 90 pence. So I would always start with the coin that's worth the most, 50. We need 90. So we've got 50 pence. We need 60, 70, 80, 90. We need 40p, but we've used one coin and we've only got two other coins that we are allowed to use. What's the fastest way to make 40 pence? So let's try a 20p and see how much that gets us. 50 pence. The 20 piece, two tens, so that's 50, 60, 70, that's two coins. Should we try the other 20 p and see if we get to 90? So we've got 20, that 20 p is worth two tens, so we've got 50 pence, two, two, p's, two 20 p's, let's count them 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Brilliant! We've made 90 pence and we've used three coins. Fantastic! Part B. Tick four coins this time to show another way to make 90 pence. I would start with the 50p and I would maybe keep one of the 20p's. Okay, so we've got 50, 60, 70. Now in part A, we use two 20p's. Can we split the second 20p up into two different coins? Because then we would have used four coins. That's it. We can do 10 add 10. We can use a 10p coin and another 10p coin, meaning we've used a 50, a 20, a 10 and a 10. That's four coins. Let's count in tens to just double check we've got 90 pence. A good special agent always double checks. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Excellent work. Number 15, a shop sells these sweets. The sweet is worth two pence, the lolly is worth five pence, the worm is worth ten pence. Abdul spends exactly 20p on sweets. Tick the bag of sweets he buys. What I would do here is a little bit of cold breaking. I would work out the answers and just write them in. Just take a little bit of time to work it out. So, a lolly is five, five add a worm is 15p. If in doubt, work it out. So that one's 15p. Then we've got... A worm and two lollies, so a worm is 10p and a 5 add 5 is 20p. Then in the bottom one we've got a, we've got a worm, add, add a lolly is 15, add 2 pence for the sweet is 15, 16, 17. And in the bottom right we've got a chew which is 2 pence and a lolly that is 5, 5 add 2 is 7. So can you see that I've worked them out and now I know for definite which one has 20 pence inside it. Okay. Last question. AJ has 20p in two coins. How many 2p coins does AJ have? Your times tables will help you here. This is asking you, 2 times what is 20? How many 2s make 20? Let's count in 2s quickly to work it out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 2 times 10 is 20, so it would take 10 2p coins. Well done, special agents. Leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time. Bye for now.